Salmon is an open source software package that describes the interaction between light and matter using first principles calculations. In this video, we'll show you how to set up Salmon on your computer system. Salmon can be set up using the following five steps. The Salmon website can be found at https salmon tddft.jp From the menu on the left sidebar, click About Salmon to see an overview of Salmon. Click Download to download the latest version of the Salmon program file and its manual. Click Documents to download older versions of the manual and files of tutorials completed in the past. Next, the Salmon download and unpack process will be explained. Click Use Salmon to access an online manual of Salmon and view instructions to install the program. I will now explain how to set up Salmon according to the contents described here. Click Install and Run from the menu on the left sidebar. This page shows the steps to download and compile Salmon. From here, the explanations will follow this Install and Run page. You will see the Salmon web page on the left and the terminal on the right. The Linux OS is used in the terminal. First, download Salmon to your computer system. You can download it from the Salmon web page using the wget command. Next, use the tar command to unzip the Salmon program file. This completes the unzip process. Next step is the CMake setup. Salmon is compiled using CMake. Therefore, you must check to see if CMake is installed on your computer system. If not, an up-to-date version will need to be installed. Please look at Checking CMake availability on the web page. Type CMake hyphen hyphen version to see if CMake is available on your system. To compile Salmon, you need CMake version 3.14.0 or later. However, many systems either don't have CMake installed or have an older version. In these cases, you will need to install CMake yourself. CMake can be installed as follows. First, create a directory called C in which to install CMake. Go to the C directory you created and use the wget command on the web page to download CMake. Here we download version 3.16.8 of CMake.
Next, unzip the downloaded CMake file using the tar command. Modify the path shell environment variable so that the downloaded CMake can be used in other directories. Here, replace salmon installation directory with the name of the directory where you downloaded CMake. Reload the configuration file so that the newly set path is active. This should allow you to use the new version of CMake. Type cmake-version to check. The installation is successful if you can see the new version. Now we finally come to the salmon setup. Please look at Build Using CMake on the web page. First, go to the directory in which you installed Salmon. Create a directory named build there and go to that directory. You will need to execute the following Python command. Replace capital letters architecture in the command with the architecture of the computer system you are using. The web page has a list of processor architectures available for building Salmon. Choose one from this list. This video uses a computer system with the Intel AVX512 architecture. Execute the command using your architecture.
Next, execute make. The salmon program written in Fortran will be compiled. Finally, execute make install. This completes the build work. If you look in the directory, you will find many files. The salmon file with green font is the executable. Finally, let's check that a calculation can be performed with the created executable file. Click Run Salmon on the web page. Click here to execute using one process or use MPI exec to calculate using MPI with multiple processes. The salmon executable file can be used for both. Let's try calculating the ground state of the acetylene molecule C2H2 provided in exercises. To do this calculation, you will need three files those are included in the salmon distribution in addition to the salmon executable file. Let's create a directory called test1 for test calculations. Copy the three C2H2 exercise files to the test1 directory. Let's look at run salmon on the web and perform calculations using salmon. Here, calculations using MPI will be performed. In nproc, Write the number of processes to be used. Here, the value is 1. Input file dot INP is a standard input file. Replace this with C2H2GS.INP. Salmon is the name of the executable file, however, you must specify the path. The preparation is complete. You can execute it. The calculation is completed. Many files are outputted to the directory. 
Let's check the standard output contents. It's a file called fileout.out. This completes the setup of Salmon.